Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video! Okay, so a few days ago, as you can see right here, I made a poll on my Instagram page to know which video that you would like to see. And because of that, I made this video. So from the results, I can see that you guys are interested of my struggles being a small YouTuber. So without further ado, let's get into the video! I think with 118 subscribers, you could call and say that I'm a small YouTuber. But I'm not saying that I'm not grateful with 118 subscribers. I'm really grateful because 118 people actually do care and love my video. So shout out to you guys. Being a small YouTuber is not as fun as you think because there are struggles that you have to face as a small YouTuber. And so here's 5 things that I hate from being a small YouTuber. Okay, so the first thing that I would like to put on the list is oftenly getting upset. A small YouTuber is really hard because if you have worked really hard on one certain video and you think that that video will surely go viral, but the results are not really good. You usually get one view, two views, and I've been there and it's not really nice. Well, being a YouTuber is not that easy. To be a big YouTuber, there's a lot of process that we should go through. And my first expectation is a little bit too high. So I would make a little video to show what my expectations were back then. This is a viral video and it better give me 10 million subscribers by tomorrow. Okay, so now I'm gonna check my subscribers. Let's go, dudes. OMG! I have 102 million subscribers! OMG, OMG! Okay, time to check my subscribers. No change. Maybe if I refresh, still no change. The second thing that I would like to put on the list is recording in public. I really hate recording in public. Do you know why? Uh, I'm gonna tell a very short story. So when I was recording the next doll challenge, I'm done and I put my tripod here to shoot another scene. And suddenly a little girl shouted at me, Hey, that guy is recording a video! And all her friends she keep shouting at me and that was really embarrassing. Well, I guess it's not really a big deal, but definitely that would stop me to record in public. As a small YouTuber, when you record in public, people might see you as a weird person and what is he doing in life? Like, well, it's bad, but if you're a famous person, let's say Logan Paul, if he's vlogging, many fans will go to him and ask for a picture or a selfie maybe. But don't be discouraged because a small YouTuber will definitely be a big YouTuber over time. So I'm never gonna give up. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video! Thanks dude, so cringe. Eee. What's up, low gang? Welcome back to another video. Gee, is that Logan Paul? Logan, can I have a picture with you? Sure, do you want a signature too? The third thing on the list is being consistent. When you search on YouTube, how to be a bigger YouTuber. The first key item in mind is consistency. Yes, consistency is really important when building a YouTube channel because it will definitely gain more views and more subscribers. But yeah, there's a problem. If you're not a full-time YouTuber like me, you might have some trouble because there are some responsibilities that you cannot left behind. And I'm a student and my schedule is really really tight, as you can see from this video which I made. And if you're not a full-time YouTuber, let's say Mr. Beast, he is a full-time YouTuber which means he uses all his time for YouTube and I cannot do that because I still have studies that I need to complete. So consistency is really a big deal. The fourth thing on the list is finding a niche or a special topic for your YouTube channel. When I first started to do YouTube, I was confused of what is my channel going to do? I uploaded random things and it's really chaotic. But as you can see from the new channel art right here, 
It's to learn gaming and comedy videos. And now, I'm gonna take you through my old videos to show you what I mean. Okay, so this is my videos. And if you scroll down to my older videos, I legit upload random things. Like, I don't know what did I upload. And it's really not focused. But now, I started to be more focused. And I found my niche already. And I upload the things that I love to do. Which is learning, gaming, and funny videos somewhere here. So yeah, it's good to know your niche. Okay, so the final thing that I want to share is the YouTube algorithm. The YouTube algorithm is sometimes very useful, but maybe it's only useful for big YouTuber because if you're a big YouTuber, YouTube will suggest their videos from other channels. But it's not really useful for us small YouTubers because our videos rarely get suggested in other people's channel. Let me show you guys. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you what I mean. Let's say this video. This is a child trailer. And when you go to the recommendation, see, it says recommended for you. It's not even the same thing, but it has 11.5 million subscribers. It's really unfair, I would say. And YouTube, I think YouTube should fix their algorithm to make it beneficial for small YouTubers like me. Okay guys, so that will be the end of our video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're a small YouTuber like me, comment down below if this thing happens to you too. And I guess that will be it. I'll see you dudes later. Bye!